Hey guys, it's Russell Tussle, and welcome back for part 5 of our third playthrough of RimWorld Alpha 15. Uh, last episode, so two episodes ago, we lost a colonist. We lost Linda, she was kidnapped, and then she died from an infection. Uh, which I kind of maybe think it was a glitch that it notified me that that happens. Unless maybe you can like trade for her later if someone gets captured. I'll have to, I might have to look that up. But anyway, another wanderer joined us, Marina, who's actually Lumi, Lumi's sister, uh, who's one of our original colonists. Uh, they actually don't like each other that much. Oh, it's plus 20 just because they're sisters. But Marina, get this, she's a psychopath, she's a prostophobe, and she's sanguine, but she can't do anything except kill things, kill, mur murder animals, sculpt and research things so she's kind of useless uh but i mean she's good at researching so pretty much she just researches stuff the entire day and does nothing else uh, so on one hand not the best situation but also you know that's kind of okay because then things get researched a lot quicker actually now that i'm talking it through oh god is that a panther i was gonna say cougar uh, what day are we on? Starting day 20. <laughs> oh no, we're starting day 21. Oh, so the day count must change at like 7 o'clock in the morning, because that must be the time when we landed. God, everyone's getting food poisoning from these fine meals. Who is cooking? They are terrible. Aletta, you're, you're, no, you're a pretty okay cook. All right, I think I want everyone to prioritize hauling all the food inside. Because I think the longer it stays outside, the more it's going to like decay. I want I want as much of that food as we can possibly get in the freezer. Oh, you can copy priorities. That's pretty cool. I love doing that. Oh, we gotta set Marina's work schedule. And then we also have to set her joy. Don't forget to take your joy. Uh, oh god, don't throw up on the corn, Calhoun. Seriously, it's really unsanitary. She just threw up, and then she went and got food that made her sick. Or she threw up on the food and then ate it, which is, I think, worse. Oh, look at all the cotton, guys. God, Smith is so slow at planning. Look how slow his thing goes up compared to everyone else. That's a one. Lumi, what are you shooting? Oh, there's still a beaver. Is that the last one? God, her shooting didn't level up that whole time. Almost. She killed like 12 beavers. <gasps> oh god, the panther killed... Oh, that just gave me chills. That's so creepy. Are you smart enough to move things? Intermediate. I think it needs to be advanced. I don't think you can train cats to move objects, because they're cats and they don't listen. Alright guys, I think we also need to prioritize cleaning next. And then we'll need to haul the cotton. Pretty satisfied with what's going on. Maybe we should learn stone cutting. I think guns are still the priority. 
That's right, clean all the throw up and blood off out of the pantry. That's just gross, guys. How good this one's built. So maybe with two of them, we can keep the rope. Yes, all right, everything's frozen. Oh, they're harvesting hay. I kind of don't need to. Huh? Oh, you know what? Maybe we should build a barn. Just keep the hay in for the animals. That makes sense, right? Seven. I feel like barns are usually rectangular. But I feel like barns also don't usually have floors. So I think we'll just cut the grass inside. All those two things out of there. And if it also gets really cold in the winter, that that will give them some place to stay. Oh wait, what is going on in here? There shouldn't be food in there. Don't allow food. <gasps> Whoa, that was a heart. Are they flirting? Attempted to woo Calhoun into romance, but was rejected. Rebuffed by Cal Calhoun twice. Oh god. Smith, stop being a creep. Oh no, it rotted away, because they put it in the wrong one. <sighs> These people. God, this is the longest eclipse ever. Ooh, cargo pods. Alpaca wool, really? Oh, is that what that was? That was alpaca wool? <gasps> it is! Yeah, someone needs to haul that ASAP. So do they just shed on their own? It just falls off? Or did someone harvest it? Alright, I think I want to prioritize. Everyone haul by Lumi Crafts. Oh, there goes our power. There's still an eclipse. Oh, something killed that. We could totally eat that. That's right, it was killed by the cougar. Panther. Whatever. Same thing, right? Lumi, you're supposed to be crafting. Why are you cooking? Oh, tailoring. Is different than crafting. Got it. Marina needs pants.
Friendly fire safety. A friendly fire never occurs if the shooter is close to their ally. For example, you can safely put a sword wielding colonist directly in front of a gun wielding one. Oh, the shooter will fire over the shoulder. Okay. I didn't know that. Shot accuracy tooltip. You can see the exact calculations behind the accuracy of any shot. Oh, okay. Instead of construction one super building, builds separate buildings with spaces in between. Use less flammable materials. Wood is cheap and fast, but very flammable. Okay. Well, we've ignored fire safety to a T, so that's, that's great. Yay, smithing finish. Um, what do I want? Machining. Because guns are important. What was the... I wanted to research stone cutting. You know what? Let's do stone cutting first. Because it's, it's small, it'll be quick. And the game just yelled at us for, for having everything made out of wood. Low medicine... All oh, right. Well, the heal route is coming along. You know what? Corn lasts a while when it's not in the freezer. So I think raw food. We're gonna allow corn in the storage room. And we're gonna disallow it in the freezer. Because I feel like they'll eat it before it spoils anyway. And we have such a yai, yai, such a high yield of corn. Oh, let's let them go in their barn. How about that, guys? You can go in a barn. You know, we'll let you go all around the barn. Build you some boxes to sleep in. Because I'm just that nice a guy. Oh, that's right, there are five. Oh, now I want chickens. Build a little hen house. Eat eggs. I forgot you could totally, like, turn this game into Harvest Moon. You know, with guns and awful things that attack and murder you. Wow, look at all the supplies we have. We're doing quite all right. Just in case. You see that, guys? That... <sighs> the game heard me. Oh god, and it's a boomalope. Uh, Lumi's the only one with a gun. Come on, Lumi. Fire the crap out of that thing. Oh, it's gonna set her crops on fire if she kills it. Alright, it's injured, right? <coughs> She's shooting its legs. Alright, keep shooting it. Or should we rescue it? Oh, you know what? We can't rescue it because we need a, a bed. Oh god, it's gonna explode. At least it's not in the real crops, right? Come on, Lumi, seriously. Oh, look, her shooting leveled up. Alright, Lumi, this is getting sad. Oh, that's way bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Prioritize fire. Fire's reserved by Lumi. Alright, she's not a firefighter. Neither is he. Okay. Alright, guys, come on. A local castaway has gone mad. Really? Another one? Oh no, where's Lumi? Lumi, come back outside. 
Oh, Marina, run! Run in the barn! At least they're smart enough to run behind doors. So... Let's just pause. No, we don't need to pause. Let's reflect on what just happened. I was like, gosh, guys, we're doing so well. You know, but you, we had some fire safety concerns, but I don't think that'll be a problem. And then we get attacked by a boomalope that explodes and lights our giant house on fire. <laughs> and there are only three people that can put fire out. And one of them, oh, you know what? Maybe that's why. Come on, Lumi. Firefight. Oh, thank God, it's raining. Oh, the game gave us a break, guys. Okay, that could have been way worse. I just need to shut up. I just need to shut the hell up. Oh, God. Let's build a door there. And we're gonna need to replace that cooler. Oh, look at all the clothes! Yay, Marina's fully clothed. Can we rescue it? No reach button reserved. So let's build a cloth animal bed so that we can heal animals when we need to. Bam. We can nurse it back to health now. Yeah, don't waste medicine on it. You know what? I wonder if that practices her medicine. It did. So there you go, guys. There's like an exploit. Just go around... Go around harming animals, but, and then save them, and then heal them, and you, one, have a chance to tame the animal, or I think you tame it automatically, and two, get to raise your medicine skill. <laughs> oh god, he's feeding it. Oh, it won't lay eggs unless they're fertilized. Got it. Well, guys, I'm kind of tempted to... Should we get another one? It's a female. Me. I don't really want weird birds. Oh god, look at all the boomalopes. Where'd that cougar go? I kind of want to shoot it unconscious. Oh, it's already injured. It's slowly bleeding. If we knock it unconscious and heal it, I think we tame it. Oh, it can't move! We shot off its leg. Is it an animal? No. We can't tame it because it. Oh. Okay. Bye, buddy. I'm sorry. Hey, stone cutting stun. Oh, that's that's graphic. Okay. Oh, visitors. I wonder what we can trade. Maybe we can give them lots of corn. All right, who's the social one? Lumi. Lumi's everything. If she dies, this colony is as good as gone. Where are our visitors? Oh, they're coming. Slowpokes. Alright, we need a stone cutting table, right? Where is it? There we go. Uh, mm, uh, mm. Yeah, let's put it inside. otherwise if someone's working on cutting stones they like might get hot or cold if they're stuck outside doing it you know what I mean Are you guys just creeping around up there yeah 
Let me go trade. Maybe we can buy some guns. Corn for guns. Oh gosh. I don't know if I want to sell them clothes because I don't know which ones are deteriorated. Max hit points. Oh, it even tells you. Oh. I didn't realize clothes gave you a little bit of armor. Ooh, fine meals. I forgot how expensive fine meals are. So even if we just... You know, let's not sell the fine meals. Let's just sell the regular meals. Let's take them for all they're, all they're worth. Oh, they have Molotov cocktails. Yeah, but I feel like fires that like that could get dangerous, you know? They have three things of medicine. Nah, let's just we'll uh we'll just increase our silver. Yeah, that's fine. We'll sell them food. Cause if you get enough we can buy we can free slaves later. We can buy them and free them. And then they become a colonist, even though I guess that's kind of not freeing them. Eh. Goodbye, visitors from Village at the River. Not speaking of you with Village at the Mountain. <laughs> I wasn't kidding. That's the thing. Uh, bye. Oh yeah, stone cutting table. We have slate and granite. I really like granite pathways. They look really nice. You know what we're also gonna do? Here, let's pause it while we do this. We're gonna add some growing zones around the outside of the house. Do some flowers. Let's so have roses, daylilies. Is that, is that it? Roses, daylilies. Her dandelion's pretty. Eh, let's just do roses and daylilies. Let's beautify the area. And at the same time, raise everyone's farming skill. Or growing skill. Semantics. Oh, there's a dead turtle here? Someone go eat that. Pronto. Are you guys eating enough? You're not, like, starving, are you? This has happened to me before. Maybe we should increase the size of the hay field while we're at it. Just make it <laughs> ginormous. Oh god. How wide is this? It's 14 wide. Already hay grass. <gasps> Look at all the flowers, guys. Oh, someone prioritized building this. Oh, we don't have materials. We need we need wood. Okay. Let's go chop some trees. Oh 
Oh no, who's at a minor break risk? Calhoun. You got you got issues, girl. Oh, it's because she's really neurotic, right? She's uncomfortable. I'm kind of uncomfortable. We need something soft to sit on around here. Alright, so she wants a recliner, right? Is that what I'm I'm getting what I'm getting from that? She wants an armchair. Well, let's add a little uh seating area, right? What's an equipment rack? Item sword in this will not deteriorate even if outside. Oh, interesting. Only two items though. Oh, so they're kind of like shelves. I've never like realized that was a thing. Let's add some pot plants. Alright, I know this is a stool, but we're gonna pretend it's an end table, just so it looks a little bit more complete. Ooh, cargo pods. <gasps> Look how close that is. And it's camel hair. Because, you know, why not? Why not give us some camel hair to uh, make some clothes that, that can match our alpaca wool clothes? Yeah. Mm, yeah. Okay. Also, why are they um, welding uh, armchairs? That's it's made out of cloth, right? Not steel. <laughs> I wish I could do different colors. Oh, you know what? I bet you if we made them out of different materials. <gasps> we could have did... Oh, we are so canceling. We are so canceling that. Oh, we're so deconstructing that. We're making them all different kinds. So let's do a, uh, a camel hair. Yeah, armchair. And then we'll do a... Uh... Oh, that looks really similar. So that's probably the only other one we have enough of. How many do we need? A hundred? Alright, camel hair and a pack of wool. Oh, I gotta wait for that one to go. Yeah, we'll keep the white one. We'll just have a camel hair one. Don't you know? Well, guys, uh, I think that's where I'm gonna end this episode. Uh, colony is coming along quite nicely. After, you know what? We'll be fine. I think I might just make this, continue to make this a giant building. Um, although, maybe it might be really cute if we built, like, if we built this out into a village. Like, this is the main house, then we can make these, like, medical rooms and prison rooms. And then have, like, little houses for everyone. Okay, I'm kind of... I'm kind of getting really into that. Anyway, uh, once again, my name is Russell Tussle. Uh, and this was, I believe, part five of our third playthrough of Rim Worlds. Knock on wood, we're doing great. Uh, please like and subscribe below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Thanks for watching!